First tonight, it has been a violent 24 hours in the Miami Valley with at least eight people arrested as a result of crimes involving stolen vehicles and trying to escape from police. Multiple officers were hurt in separate incidents during task force operations to retrieve these stolen vehicles. And law enforcement says they're seeing a rise in aggression from suspects in these situations. Two News reporter Leah Seabrooks joins us live here in the studio with new information from law enforcement. Brooke and John, those task force members say oftentimes these stolen cars lead them right to the suspects, but they say these interactions are difficult because they can turn violent quickly. On Wednesday, task force members say they identified a man driving a stolen truck and attempted a traffic stop, but that man rammed a Dayton police cruiser, then took off, leading officers on a chase. Police dash camera captured the entire chase. The truck ran over stop sticks, but kept going. The chase continued into Indiana. The driver tried to keep going on three flat tires before crashing into a ditch. Authorities arrested the suspect moments later. The officer that was struck suffered minor injuries, but has recovered. Montgomery County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy saying this level of violence over a short time span is not common. Like I said it's unusual to have that many stolen vehicle recoveries and then on top of that three different um, police officers injured in the line of duty in a 24-hour span trying to get these stolen cars off the streets and back to the to the owners is unusual. In a separate incident, Huber Heights police located a stolen vehicle near Hayden Loop on reports of individuals attempting to steal cars. The suspects tried to take off, but cruisers boxed them in. That's when the car hit a cruiser head on before the suspects ran away to a nearby apartment complex. They have not been caught. That officer was treated at a local area hospital and has been released. Later investigations show that vehicle involved in the incident was stolen. In another incident, task force members found a stolen vehicle parked outside of Meadowdale High School. Deputies identified the driver of the stolen vehicle. They attempted to arrest them, but the suspect resisted. One deputy was injured during that suspect's arrest. Charges against the juvenile are pending. Dayton police say these kinds of crimes involving juveniles present their own challenges. Law enforcement says the best thing you can do is to try and avoid falling victim to vehicle theft. Keep your vehicles locked and invest in theft aversion tools like steering wheel locks. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.